Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Coffee with K and K. I gotta be careful, it's fall. <laughs> Today, we are talking about how we got into fitness. A lot of you girls ask us this all the time. Maybe you're looking to get into fitness or you're just curious, and so we're, we're gonna get into it. How far back do we wanna go? Let's just go. Like, to childhood? Yeah, childhood? yeah, this right. is cute. Guess what she did when she was a little girl. Okay, so my first, I believe it was my first grade school project, I, had a project, I don't remember what the assignment was, but I made my first as a VHS tape and I did a Jane Fonda workout. She's already making videos, I producing would... her own videos <laughs> like in first grade. I mean, come on. When I go home to Indiana, I try to dig through my dad's basement and see if I can find it and I just can't. But I used to watch my mom work out to Jane Fonda, Kathy Smith, Kathy Ireland, Denise Austin, and I was like, just I would sit there behind and I would just be like, I wanna do that one day. I love that. Yeah. That's so cute and that's why for all you moms out there that work out, especially in front of your kids, it's making an impact. And it's, you're making a difference and you are your kids' heroes, whether they say it or not. And then she, that's how she got into fitness. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, and then my dad was always very active. He was a runner. And he, so I ran my first half marathon when I was 12 years old at the Indianapolis 500. And, and what are you about to do in a couple weeks? Yeah, I'm doing another half marathon in next weekend in uh, Monterey, Big Sur area. This is so cute. But, yeah, and but it was a tradition my dad and I picked up again about maybe 10 years ago, and we did it for three or four years, and then we stopped. And this year we're like, you know what? Let's do it again. Although I will say I'm probably going to walk it. But that's so nice. My dad doesn't <laughs> run as much anymore, so we're just going to walk it together. I love that. You can sign up for a half marathon and literally stroll. I mean, it's. it's a Beautiful yeah. walk. Yeah, it's gorgeous. You, if you sign up for a 5K, power walk it. I actually really enjoy power walking more I than running too, lately. Then you can talk to your walking partner. I can't talk and run. You and I go for a lot of walks. <laughs> when we run, we can't even talk to each other. And then at the end of the run, I'm like, I don't even know who you are, anything about you right now. This is awkward. We, we've got to go for a walk now. <laughs> yeah. What about you? What was your childhood fitness story? So a lot of you actually know that growing up, I was one of the heaviest girls in... Uh, my school and I couldn't do a lot of the same sports that a lot of the other girls were doing and I don't know if you remember like the fitness test in like elementary school where you had to run a mile and oh, do I like one that. pull I up. No, I couldn't do any of it. I was last. I couldn't pull up. Well, I still can't really do a pull up, but I was like, I fell off the um, monkey bars where everyone was doing that test and then you had to climb the rope thing. Couldn't do that. So there was a lot of just, that's when I started to realize that I was different. Um, but my parents were so amazing. They always said I was beautiful. They were so supportive and I felt very supported and I had really great friends. And um, I knew I wanted to be healthier and I didn't know how. And that's when my grandmother got me a nutrition book. My parents helped me kind of get fitness equipment. They were like, what's in? I actually had like a thigh master and a stair stepper, <laughs> which is really cute. But um, to this day, you love the stair stepper. I love the stair stepper <laughs> and that's why. When I started getting into fitness, my, um, my girlfriend, Laura uh, and Jillian, so if you're watching this, I'll send it to you. Um, you were both in track. In seventh grade, you were like, we have to do this run. It was the first day of track. And I was like, okay, I, I can do this. And I had already been kind of exercising and trying to get healthy. And I will never forget the feeling when we were done. And then I went home and I drank an entire thing of Minute Maid. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say wine. <laughs> Oh, oh no, that's, that's <laughs> a lemonade. And then I looked and there was so much sugar in it and I was like, I felt so accomplished. But then that's when I really started getting into nutrition. So how the balance between exercise and what you feel your body with. And that's really um, all through high school is when I really started doing sports and I started, I joined the swim team, worst on the entire team, but that's okay. I had fun. And then I also did tennis. And then that's when I decided to go to school for exercise physiology. So you discovered fitness in high school.
school, and that's when I lost it. Because <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, in my high school years, then I stepped away from health and fitness with a lot of stuff that was going on at home. And so all of those healthy kind of things that I had uh, learned about being active, and I always, my dad always had like veggie burgers and tofu and brown rice and all that stuff, that food I hated back then. Which is like my dream. Yeah, now, now we're like, I love that stuff. <laughs> but yeah, so then I had a lot of stuff going on at home and family issues that I totally rebelled anything um, that was healthy for me and became very depressed and abused many substances. And, but then around the same time, I'd say we both, uh, well, then in my early 20s, I got back into fitness. Which I love this story. When you moved to California, like, that's when you really transformed into... Yeah, a few years after moving to California, I was like fully rock bottom depression and doing really bad things to my body. And finally at this breaking point, I'm like, you know what? I had, um, actually I had psoriasis all over my body from stress. And my doctor was like, what is going on in your life? You know, that you have this horrible breakout and she's like you need to go to yoga you need to learn how to meditate and I was like okay so I a doctor yeah. told you that yeah a doctor how amazing I know so thank you to a medical doctor that told me to go get some vitamin D meditate and de-stress and get into yoga so I got really, really um, awesome. a local instead of yoga. just like take yeah. all these drugs. yeah take these yeah and uh so I a local yoga studio if I worked the front desk then I got free classes so oh, yeah, I got into really Kundalini, yeah, and then I, that was that breaking, that moment where I was like, okay, when was I happiest? When I was a little girl, I wanted to be a personal trainer and be like Jane Fonda. So I got my certification and I started getting into triathlon and surfing, like surfing and just anything that was healthy for my body. And that's kind of the evolution of how I got into fitness. When I, uh, so it's so funny because when Crane and I tell our stories about how we got into fitness and aligning even our lives together. It's really cool. Like I was like, oh yeah, when I was in college, like uh, slushing through slush and snow going to class, she was like partying with Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, wow, this is crazy. But I love telling stories about where we are in different points in our life. Um, when my parents asked me, what do you want to go to college for? That's when I was like, I just like fitness and working out. And I want to share that with other women. And I don't know how to make that into my career so that's when I went to school for health science and physiology and I loved the science and any like anatomy in high school was my favorite favorite so I think that that was the right move for me but what I ended up really really loving on top of all of that was nutrition pre and postnatal nutrition and teaching classes mm -hmm. just the energy in a studio and all of us doing the same thing at the same time is really cool and um, Karina loves classes. I feel like everything that she and I have done up until the, mo the point that we met is why Tone It Up is what it is. And that was even our inspiration for Studio Tone It Up on the yeah. app is to virtually be able to have classes together and chat with each other and feel like even if you're at home in your living room, you have a bunch of girls with you. Yeah, you know that we're in this together. And that's what's so cool is uh, you know, beyond the squats and beyond just the science of everything, we are strong women who can em empower each other and have that energy and it's infectious and it's amazing and you feel more more inspired when you get to do it with other women. And uh, that's when I, when I got out of college, I was a master trainer at Boston Sports Club, loved it. And I begged the group fitness instructor if I could teach classes as well, which were there, and most gyms too, there's not like a lot of crossover between personal training and group fitness, but that was my favorite part. And then when I moved to California, I was doing videos on YouTube and um, I don't know, you know me, I can't be alone. So I was like, <laughs> this is lonely doing these videos by myself. And I met this amazing, beautiful, girl at the gym and a lot of you already know the story but i was working at equinox teaching classes and personal training and i see this gorgeous girl coming in on a friday night i was reading my book on my recumbent bike mm -hmm. i was newly single at the time so my you know my evenings i literally i love to read 
and I love to work out. So how can I combine the two? A recumbent bike. <laughs> so that was my Friday night. We saw a trainer from Equinox the other day and was like, do you still come in here and ride the bike and like read your books and stuff? And she was like, no, but that's how I met Katrina. But, um... Yeah, so then one Friday I was stretching after my ride mm -hmm. and she introduced herself to me and was like, I'm Katrina. I was like, oh, I'm Karina. And we're like, meant to be friends, friends, obviously, and close then she, names. I was stretching and you were like, my, you're flexible. Do you do yoga? And I was like, I do. And we kind of had Crazy this little exchange line. and she gave me her number. No. What? I didn't oh, give you my no, number. Oh, that, not that, not yet. You gave me your number and then I also looked you up on Facebook, found her website, found out that she had already been doing like fitness hosting and then she was like in fitness magazine and shape magazine and she was already, like she was doing so many cool things. I just hit you in the head. I just got really excited about notice. Karina. Um, I, you were so humble too about what you were doing in your career as a fitness model and a triathlete. And I, I, when I looked at your site, I looked up to you. I was like, this is amazing what you've accomplished. And so the next time you came in, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I was talking to you. Like you are a big deal. And you're like, oh, like we should hang out sometime. I'm like, yes. And then that's when we went to yoga. Mm -hmm first date together was a yoga mm -hmm. date. I started going to your classes that you were teaching. That was that, a Friday. That was another Friday when I was actually Go leaving, to the gym on Friday. Leaving the gym uh, after my, my book and bike ride <laughs> and in the parking lot and she was coming in to teach a class and she's like, hey, what are you doing? You want to take my class? And I was like, you're I ain't got like, nothing to do. You're sure. nice and casual. <laughs> I was like, hey, it's me. Come to my class. I can't believe I'm running into you again. <laughs> I was probably looking like a crazy person, but you're like, okay. And you but, came yeah, to class, so, it was so fun. And that was one of the things we always say now is like, say yes, mm -hmm. just say yes. And we ran into each other at the grocery store and we realized we lived a block from each other. Mm -hmm. So we started going on walks together, which we still love going on walks. What did I ask you in Trader Joe's? If I wanted to make cooking videos and I said, yes. <laughs> She said yes, and I was so, I was like, we're in a grocery store. Do you want to do cooking videos together? There's this thing called YouTube, and you're like, what do you It's like, the music? <laughs> For music? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so we started making videos together, and with just us and the tripod, and in our friends' kitchens, mm -hmm. and at the beach, mm -hmm. and it just kind of all started from there. We, but. And I would say like in all of our long beach walks, we realized that we had this like same synergistic idea. Yeah. And we just we made it happen. We said yes and we did it. You know, we we put ourselves quit our jobs. out there. We quit our jobs, went broke, had to open a bank account with fifty dollars. I mean, we've each. gone broke a few many <laughs> times. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You should if if you are chasing any dream right now, literally it's okay to go broke. We're like two broke girls that show. Yeah. Should have had a show called Two Broke Girls, like yeah. the real life of two broke girls. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we had great support from friends around us, yeah. family, people that believed in us or maybe didn't believe in us or we helped us like, rent a couple yeah. times. <laughs> I call my dad, I'm like, yo, dad. <laughs> I gotta eat. <laughs> this video is about how we got into fitness. We went broke. That's the moral of the story. But we story. stuck with it. And it would be years went by where we struggled. Mm -hmm. But you stick with it because it's your passion. Yeah. And you don't stop your passion. If you believe in it, then you will achieve it. Yes. And I will say that today feels just as exciting, just as invigorating, and we're, our passion for fitness still lives as much as it did when we first discovered it. And that's what's so cool because everything that led Karina and I to fitness and everything up until that point where we met went into creating Tone It Up and every, every decision that we make now, like Studio Tone It Up and um, our nutrition program and even taking yoga training and all of that has been just years in the making and it was like fitness serendipity <laughs> to bring us together, fitness destiny. And we, when we met fitness, fitness was serious. Very serious, but we always wanted, I mean, when we would work out, we'd be falling on the ground laughing. We still falling, do. We still do, yeah. it needs to be fun because everything in life shouldn't always be taken so seriously. Why so and, serious? <laughs> so we wanted to create a space and a community where women could come be empowered, live their best life, and have fun doing it at the same time. With girlfriends, with each other, and 
we still do that. And even going on tour was so um, fulfilling for us to be to see that and to know that we are all in this together. And we're no longer squatting alone. We're squatting together. We're jumping together. And we are just, we're all in this together. And we're doing so much more than just working out. We are um, just making the most of all that life has to offer and we're doing it as a community and it's so beautiful. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Cheers to Tone and I. Love Cheers you girls you. so much. Mm. Can't be spilling this coffee on my white pants because they're actually Katrina's. I was like, I found a perfect outfit for a coffee chat. It's so cute. I love when we match. Like my goal in life is to look exactly and match Karina. That was my goal in life. Therefore, I dyed my hair blonde. <laughs> We're almost the same person. <laughs> He's so sleepy. We should do another video, how we got so into dogs. Oh, uh, well first it was cats. <laughs> she would get a cat sitter even if she was gone for a night. Yeah. I mean, that was like, monkey was like your baby. And do you remember when you would come home, she would stick her face. Face through the blinds. And like, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> Have a good day, girls. We love you so much. Mwah.